Hello friends, I am back again with another tutorial. Give a look in this tutorial how do you reset your forgotten password for Windows 10. This is my Windows 10 PC. When I type some password and press enter key, I gonna see it's an incorrect password. I am not being able to access the files on my PC. I have a lots of important files. So one either way I want to access my PC and get access to those important files. So how do you get access to this PC? when you forgot your password so username and i do not have a password you're gonna see on the right corner guys over here is some icon it's a ease of access so just click on that icon and then you guys are gonna see it's a magnifier over here so if there is some other uh, so you're gonna see some other word in, instead of magnifier currently i have a magnifier just make a note of it it's magnifier if you something else other than magnifier, just make a note of that one. It's a magnifier over here. Now, what I'm gonna do, now you need a bootable USB drive or a bootable CD or DVD. And if you do not know how to create this bootable pen drive, you're gonna follow the link in the video description and then you can create a bootable USB drive or you can use bootable CD or DVD. Now you have to insert that in your desktop or a laptop whether it is a bootable CD or a DVD or a pen drive. Just uh, insert that bootable device into your PC now. Now we have to boot from this uh, bootable USB drive. Now you have to enter the BIOS. If you do not know how to enter the BIOS setting in your desktop or the laptop follow the link in the video description so guys you're gonna see it's a bias setting in bias setting in order to boot from a pen drive or a cd or a dvd you just have to change the boot order so you can see the first boot device is a hard disk so either you change it to the uh, removable drive if you're using pen drive or a cd rom if you're using a dvd so you just have to select it and then press the enter key and then you can uh, change, the, change the option uh, with the arrow key. You can change the option to the removable drive and then you can press enter key. And finally you're gonna see your first boot device will be a removable drive. And then in the same way you can change the second boot device to the hard disk and third boot device to the DVD room. So you can arrange it in a sequence. Later on you can just come back after you have done with everything after you have got access to your PC again you can come back to the BIOS setting and then you can change first boot device to the hard disk back again. So you can press the F10 key for save and exit. You're gonna see all the option will be just below the BIOS. Uh, which key you're gonna use for what purposes. So to save and exit, it's a F10 key. You can just uh, press Y for in order to save and exit. Okay guys, if you are using the latest version of a PC and you have a latest version of BIOS in your PC, you're gonna see the BIOS like this in your desktop or the laptop. So, oh, especially in laptop. So on the right side, here you have a option to change. So here you have an arrow like icon. You can move uh, the USB storage on the top and other just below the USB storage. Again, you can come back and change it as it is. So you can make uh, your disk drive or a hard disk on the top and USB in the second later on. So for time being, you have to boot from a USB drive so you can change uh, the order from over here if you're using a latest version of BIOS. So this is how the latest version of BIOS gonna look. So finally, you have to save and exit. So you will prompt a message over here, press any key to boot from CD or a DVD. So whether you want to boot from a removable storage or a CD or a DVD, so you just have to press the enter key as soon as you uh, get this message if you are trying to boot from a CD or a DVD. So as soon as it completes uh, 3 to 4 dot, your PC will start again. So as soon as this message appears, 1 or 2 dot, you just have to press enter key. And now your PC starts booting from a yeah, USB storage or a CD or a DVD. So you're gonna see this. 
so one more thing I would like to tell you guys instead of uh, changing the bias going to the bias setting and changing the boot order you can directly enter the uh, boot menu option and directly you can choose whether you want to boot from a hard disk or a pen drive so for that also how to enter directly into the boot menu I have left a link in the video description you can follow so if you have a difficult changing the bias setting boot order and entering into the uh, bias setting and finally uh, booting from a CD or a DVD or a pen drive so you know how you guys gonna boot from a CD or a DVD or a pen drive so just boot from CD or a DVD or a pen drive now when you get this option you just have to click on next so as soon as you click on next you're gonna see this option and when you see this option what you guys gonna do you're gonna see over here repair your computer so you get this option so what you guys gonna do instead of this you're gonna see repair your computer so just click on repair your computer and then after you get this option you just have to click on troubleshoot and then after you get this option you have to click on advanced option and then after you get this option you have to click on system image recovery and then after you get this option you have to choose the operating system so choose your operating system mine is windows 10 you're gonna see this option now you're gonna choose cancel and click on cancel now you're gonna choose next now you're gonna choose advanced you're gonna see this you have to click on install or driver so you can see install or driver so click on install or driver now you're gonna choose ok finally now you're gonna see this so you have to choose this PC on the top so click on this PC now you guys are gonna see inside this PC there are number of drives C, D, E, F so maybe you have a hardly 3 to 4 drive I got a lots of drive maybe you have 2 drive, 3 drive, 4 drive so in my case I have a lots of drive as many drive you have not a problem so give a look so guys now in the list of these drives you have to look at a drive where you have a system files so one drive is bootx when you click on bootx even bootx has got a system files so you have to choose the drive other than bootx so guys you can see even bootx has got a program files and other windows and system files so we do not need bootx you have to choose other than bootx so one by one other than bootx whatever drive you have over here so give a look inside all drive other than bootx where you have our program files and the system files so one by one I checked almost all the folder and finally I found a system file in a e drive so when I click on the e drive I gonna see So guys, inside E drive, I have a program file. So other than bootx, there is a E drive where I have those program files and a system files. Now guys, inside that, you have to click on Windows. So guys, inside Windows, you're gonna look for System32. So scroll it down, you're gonna see somewhere System32 and click on it. So guys, inside System32, you just have to scroll it down and you're going to search for Magnify. In the beginning, I told you, uh, we made a note for, not of a, a word, uh, it was a Magnify. So if you have made a note of some other word, you're going to search for that one. I made a note of Magnify. I've shown you Magnify. If you have seen in your PC something other than Magnify, you have to make a search for that. So I saw, I saw you uh, and... I shown, shown to you guys this there was a magnify so you just have to select that magnify and give a right click on it and rename it so finally now we'll be renaming rename, sorry guys it's a renaming that magnify to magnify one
and then after press enter key and then you're gonna refresh it and then check it whether that magnify is renamed to magnify one you can see it is renamed to magnify one okay guys now you have to search for CMD and find CMD inside system 32 just scroll it down and you'll find somewhere CMD so rename that CMD to magnify so we have renamed magnify to magnify 1 and CMD to magnify it's M A G N I F Y so you can make a note of spelling as it is and refresh it now now check it out whether if it is renamed so you can tap letter M in your keyboard and you can see it's a magnify and magnify one so you have done two changes so later on guys you can just uh, come back uh, after after doing everything let's say you have done the reset with the password and you just uh, have access to your PC now so if you want to make your PC again as it is you just come back and rename it again boot from a CD or a DVD or a pen drive and make it as it is change the magnify 1 to magnify and magnify to uh, CMD so you can do it later on after finishing everything or it is not necessary yeah you can just every time you have to open the CMD you have to type magnify in your command prompt in order to open CMD and every time you give a command magnify it will open CMD because we have just done the rename so you just have to come back and make it as it is if it is uh, not necessary you can just leave it as it is so proceed ahead what guys gonna do you just have to close it and then ok uh, sorry guys cancel it and close it and then after turn off your PC now you can see uh, when you will get the login screen definitely you will not be able to access to your PC so you guys gonna see it's a ease of access click on it and then and then after you guys have to just click on magnify you can see uh, it's a magnifier on the top so just have to click on this uh, magnifier so as soon as you click on magnifier it will open the CMD so that is why we have done the renaming the renaming CMD mag to magnify and magnify to magnify one so now we can uh, reset the password now what you guys gonna do uh, type the command it's a net user and press enter key so as soon as you press enter key you're gonna see the list of account currently it's a two account administrator and MK so whether you want to reset the password for administrator or MK so let's say uh, MK is my user where I do not have a uh, where I lost my password so you have to type a command it's a net user MK star so it's a net space user space MK you're gonna type your username if it is a Dell you're gonna type Dell if it is something else you're gonna type something else uh, so whatever is your username you're gonna type over here and then a space a star this is asterisk and press enter key now it's gonna ask you type a password for the user so if you want to type a new password you can type it I'll just leave it leave it empty I don't want any password so it's gonna ask you for the confirmation you're gonna retype the password so I'll leave it empty and then you can see the command completed successfully so if you want you can just type the password same password should be here to confirm it and if you want to leave it empty without a password so leave both is empty and press enter key and the command successful fully completed so finally you're gonna type exit and press enter key now finally you just try to sign in into your PC and now finally I have access to my PC so in this way you can recover your uh, forgotten password for Windows 10 PC you can try these steps even for your several other PC Windows 7 and 8 uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful and you guys gonna like it so guys if you like it be sure to hit the like button subscribe and comment I'll catch you in the next tutorial have a good day